So what we're doing today is we are testing an existing passive system to see if it's something that we'll be able to tap into and move right on. And this is what I've come up with right here. Is that I've got a radon fan attached to an extension cord. Just something quick and dirty to see if we are able to move air through the passive radon system on this home. So when you've got one of these impromptu tests like this, you know, you want to use your common sense as well. You want to feel, you know, is it moving air? And it, it, it definitely is. This house down in the basement is built, there's a footer that's dividing this house essentially in half. So we are actually treating this half right now and I've got a test on this side of the house and I've got a test on this side of the house. And so we're gonna find out what the data is. We're gonna, rather than hope for the best and start quoting systems to treat a whole house, uh, we're gonna get the information in first and then go from there. So I've got that fan attached to the very top of the radon stack. And we have identified the pipe down here in the basement. And we are moving a good bit of air. I was concerned because it sits so close to the wall and I've had them before where the, where the footer was interfering with airflow and that's why I wanted to test this system. So attached an extension cord to the fan and fired it up, put a manometer to it. Even also felt on top of the, the fan to see uh, what the airflow was like. But um, I hope that's of some help to you. Okay, so what we're doing here now is uh, we're picking up the test. We temporarily activated the uh, passive radon system, but there's potentially two zones of the house. Uh, there's reason to suspect that a footer runs all the way across I don't know for certain that's why we're testing both portions of the basement after having activated that passive system uh, temporarily so that's the best way to know go ahead and test both test both portions of it and uh, that way you have all the data you know don't assume that just because that's fired up is going to catch this entire house so uh, that's the way you, you find that out all right, hope that helps. All right, so the system is activated and the test came back and both sides were hunky-dory after we uh, used the fan test. What I was really concerned about is a footer being right here blocking communication between this part of the house and this part of the house. And believe it or not, the radon levels in this part of the house actually came back lower than over here from where the, the source is. I have no rhyme or reason why. I'm just glad it did because not all surprises are pleasant in this business and I will take what I can get. Okay we are back. It's about a week or two later and we're getting ready to install a fan in that radon pipe right there. That is a plumbing vent and uh, even labeled to help us we we identified this a while back so uh, just a little more information on this house that attic access was made by the homeowner it was not put in by the builders he was always concerned that he never had access to the radon pipe and lo and behold he was right uh, here we are today uh, gonna make this thing happen and there's no electricity to tap into. Um, well, I mean, there is, I'm gonna find it, but it's not readily available like we've been uh, spoiled the past couple times. Uh, the lights that have set up are just extension cords down into the living area. And even though I have a headlamp, I, I always try to set up a light or two. All right, we're gonna get cracking and put this fan in. Okay, we got it wired in, we're ready to go. Just something I wanted to show you real quick here. When you activate these passive systems, this is your buddy. Double check what the builders have left for you. Because this guy was, was sloped in the wrong direction. Okay? So if it's not sloped down, uh, a radon system 
will generate or accumulate, whatever the appropriate word is, about a gallon of water a day. And if it's not sloped properly, then it'll just build up and it'll gurgle. And that's just not a good thing. You'll, you're destined to get called back. And uh, so just double check while you're there and do whatever's necessary to make sure it's sloped the right direction. And uh, so if you've never seen my videos before, um, I've always got my trusty sled when I'm in an attic. Helps me slide all my goodies around. And uh, that guy right there, it's not resting like it should, but uh, that, that's a good thing to have to rest on Joyce. Okay, it's nice and hot. I'm ready to come out of here. And uh, so we're gonna call this a day. Hope you picked up something. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I put out lots of content and I appreciate you watching. I hope this is some help to you. Take care.